Welcome to session 2. The focus in today's session will be on the suppleness of the spine with some forward and backward bends. Are we ready? Let's begin with warm up. Forward bend with chest opening. Now keep your feet hip width apart. Interlock your fingers at the back. Keep your knees soft. Hinge at the hips and drop your chest down. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Remember to keep your chin up and chest up. Your knees soft, almost like in a squat position. So you inhale up, exhale, drop down. The chin is always facing up, feet flat on the ground. Are we ready? Let's do this for five repetitions. And inhale, exhale, drop down. Push your arms up to the ceiling, chin up chest open inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down this one's warming up the entire body inhale up exhale down feet flat on the ground last one inhale up Exhale, down. Gently rise up and down. Side lunge. Instructions first and then we do this together. Your feet wider than hip width. Your toes pointing in front. Now bend your right knee and lean all the way to the right. Hinge at the hips. Drop your arms down. You can choose to also be on your fingertips. Chest open chin up from here we come back to the center inhale exhale all the way to the other side remember your leg that is extended out you can also bring it on your heel if required are we ready let's do this for five repetitions to the right give me a nice lunge chin up now inhale center exhale all the way to the left Inhale, center, exhale to the right. You can keep your feet flat on the ground, back to the center and travel to the other side. Continue to place your arms on the ground, center and to the side. Keep moving. Feel the stretch around the inner thigh, your hamstrings. Almost there, chin up and last one, back to the center and gently rise up. Get ready now for the rest of the practice. Scorpion leg in mountain pose, instructions first and then we do this together. We start with the mountain pose, feet together and your heel pressed down, palms on the ground and head between your arms. Now bring that right leg all the way up to the ceiling and as you bring it up, open those hips and gently bend the right knee and your right heel getting close to the butt. Now we hold that for five breaths and then repeat on the other side. Remember to keep your palms on the ground and keep your left foot flat on the ground. Are you ready? Let's do this together and go. Start with your mountain, feet together, flat on the ground, right leg all the way up, open the hips and bend the right knee. Five breaths. Palms flat on the ground. Your left foot flat on the ground. Don't bend your left knee. One more deep breath.
Now from here, gently bring both your knees down to the ground. Take a deep breath, relax and let's prepare for the other side. Back to mountain, feet together, heel press down, lift your left leg up, open those hips and bend the left knee. Your left heel coming close to the butt, five breaths. Right foot firm on the ground. Right knee locked. Open those hips. Palms flat on the ground. One last deep breath. And gently bring the knees down. And rise. And down. Plank to knee, chest, chin on the floor. Instructions first and then we do this together. Down to a high plank, your arms right beneath your shoulder. Keep your feet close but comfortably apart. Head to toe one straight line. Don't drop your hips down, don't push it up. Head to toe one straight line. We hold that for five breaths. From there, you drop your knee down, your chest down and your chin down. Hold that for another five breaths. We repeat this for two repetitions. Are we ready? Plank position and go. Five breaths for me. Squeeze those abs. Remember to keep your palms right beneath the shoulder. Head to toe one straight line. One more deep breath. And now, knee, chest, chin on the floor and give me five breaths. Keep those hips up. Palms resting on the ground. One last deep breath. And from here, let's move to the plank again. Gently and five breaths. Be aware of your body. Head to toe, one straight line. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes. Hold on to that posture with two more breaths. Doing good, almost there. Now drop your knee, chest and chin down on the floor and five breaths. Keep your hips off the ground. Two more, deep breath. And gently rise up, one foot at a time, and down. Lord of the dance. Instructions first, and then we do this together. Keep your feet close. Now grip your right ankle with your right arm. Keep your right knee close to the left. Raise your left arm up towards the ceiling and simultaneously push your right knee to the back. Open the chest. Right elbow straighten out. We hold that for five breaths and then we do the same on the other side. Are we ready? Let's do this together. Feet close, 
grip your right ankle left arm extended out pointing towards the ceiling and push your right knee back as much as you can hold for five breaths keep that chest open last one and gently bring it back down and the other side grip your left ankle keep your left knee close to the right push your right arm out straight and gently push your left knee back open that chest five breaths the balancing knee can actually be slightly bent One more and bring it back down nice and slow and done. The bow posture. Instructions first and then we do this together. Lie down on your stomach, legs extended out and now bend your knee, grip your ankle. Now lift your chest and your knee off the ground, place your knees together. Now from here, we inhale, exhale, drop to the right, continue to pull from the ankle, inhale back to center, exhale, drop to the left, inhale, center, exhale, hold it up further and this one we will hold for five full breaths. Are we ready? This one is a progression from the bow that you have done in the previous sessions. Let's begin and go. Grab your ankle, inhale, lift up, exhale, drop to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Control, inhale, center. Exhale and hold. Five breaths. Hold up, hold up. Almost there, one more breath. And one more time, inhale. Exhale, drop to the right. Don't let go. Just one last time. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, exhale and up. Hold five breaths. Almost there, don't let go. Two more breaths. And gently release, relax, and rise. And done. Pigeon pose. Instructions first, and then we do this together. Start with the mountain pose. Feet closer and flat on the ground. Now bring your right knee between your arms. Right leg down, hips down. Now a thing to remember is your left hip flexor must touch your right heel. So don't tilt your hip to one side, keep it in the center. Push your back leg out further, point your toes and now bring your arms close to the hips. You can be on your fingertips or in your palms. Arch your back and look up, elbows soft, and hold that for five breaths and we repeat on the other side. Are we ready? Let's do this. Start with the mountain and right knee between your arms, place it down, hips down on the ground, 
your left hip flexor resting on your right heel. Back leg extended, toes pointed, arms close to the hips on your fingertips if need be. Elbow soft, arch your back, look up. Five breaths. You will feel this in the entire body, especially around lower back, your glutes, your hip flexors. Last one. And bring your hands in front, palm on the ground, and back to mountain. <sighs> Relax, take a deep breath, and left knee between the arms. Back leg fully extended, toes pointed. Remember, bring your hips to the center and ensure the right hip flexor is touching the left heel. Arms to the back, on your fingertips, arch your back and look up. Five breaths. Open the chest. Shoulder blades together. One last time. Deep breath. And relax. Arms in front. Back to mountain. Use your arms to crawl back gently and rise up. And done. Let's get ready to cool down. Child's pose. Instructions first and then we do this together. Bend your knee. Now bring your hip down, touching the heel. Let the knees go out as wide as you are comfortable. Drop your chest down, chin down or head down. Place your arms down and we will hold that for five full breaths. Are we ready? Down to your position and five breaths. Inhale and exhale, nice and deep. Three more deep breaths, relax. Head down, arms down, chest down, hips down. One more deep breath. And gently bring your arms back. In and rise and down. Let's prepare for Shavasana. Lie down on the floor, your legs extended out. Now place your arms down in the ground, a little away from the body. Your palms can be facing up to the ceiling, shoulders down, spine down. Now your feet flopping to the side. Just relax, breathe, gently move your fingers, move your toes. aware of your body. Continue to stay relaxed. Now you can gently bend your knee, turn to your right and rise. Stay with folded legs, palms to the heart center. 
up. Rub your palm. Feel the heat generating and place it on your eyes, on your cheeks. that's the end of session two well done now remember to prioritize your spine over the limbs what do I mean by that when you're in a particular asana you can always modify the posture the position of your limbs to ensure the spine is 100% aligned on that note signing off see you in session three